be one third, and then you multiply across. And um, my picture was originally, you know, you have a half, divide by a third, and you magically get <laughs> three halves. <laughs> And um, my thinking was that I was trying to explain, you know, why we have this rule. In multiplication, um, which is what I was basing this off of, um, we were um, in the video you know, with the kids with the subway um, parts. They understood that if you break a half into five pieces, you get a tenth. So I was trying to relate this flip rule with. Um, that rule that the kids just instinctively knew how to do. So I had one half divided by three. You flip the three into one third and you get one six, which is exactly what the kids did originally. So they were dividing the half into five parts. That's their like definition of divide, you know, you break it up into five parts. And then they saw that they could get One tenth from that, and uh, so that's where I left off. I was trying to relate how, when you um, divide like that, when you uh, multiply a fraction, it's more like dividing into parts, and then when you divide um, a fraction with a fraction, it's more like merging them back together to get the original whole. And so I'm trying to still think how how to show it. Um, with a model, with a picture, and I'm still struggling with that. So that is what I have so far. Can we comment on that? No. Of course. <laughs> we, we thought about it as, so you're still dividing, so it's how many pieces of that can you fit in your section? Exactly, yes. That's what but we I don't think we found that it worked every time. It doesn't work every time. But it would be a good way to explain it with like a, a nice one. Right. So. I'm just trying to, you know, take what the kids already knew and showed it naturally and then get them to you know relate that to the rules.